up, Cowboy Nation? Really appreciate you all for jumping in. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Dallas Cowboys and beyond. Here, here's my thoughts. We entering into a draft, and you know draft time for your mind is always a situation where it is, when you think about it, how can you improve the bottom line? Where can you go to find that guy that can increase your team from marginal aspects, not all the way just going to look at this thing and saying to yourself, can I get somebody there, I say, uh, world class? It's not going to happen now. If you intended on to happen or that to happen in earlier, it would have to start sooner versus later, if you guys get what I'm saying. So the news out there that the Cowboys are interested in. Let me do this right quick. Appreciate y'all for jumping in. News out there that the Cowboys are interested in. Interested in Jaron Reed. There we go. Now I can see you. Shout out to you, Sean. Appreciate you for jumping in. Shout out to you, Sheila. Oh, oh, Sheila. Appreciate you, lady. Scott, appreciate you. Shout out to everybody that's in here, man. We rocking it down. We holding it down like five million pounds. One way or another, Cowboy Nation. Y'all know how we rock. Y'all know how we roll, baby. So here's the situation. I was talking about the interior of the defensive line for your mind. And in order, shout out to you, David, in order for this team to increase better safety play, better cornerback play, it starts down in the trenches. It starts down there in the gutter. It starts doing your homework. Building a plane in the air is not the way to go, baby. It's all about this right here. How can you increase? How can you increase the pressure from the middle? making everything difficult. Ain't this right, Thomas? Appreciate you all the way from Milwaukee. Hey, 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 y'all hold this down for me. Y'all let Law Nation know where y'all from, and I'm gonna get into this detail a little bit more about the interior of the situation. Shout out to everybody that donate the stars. Appreciate y'all for jumping in. Uh, sup, Law, what's up with you, man? Hey, Jay, what's good, fam? Uh, still got a other nose tackle out there. We got so many things that we got to improve on as far as the nose tackling situation. Oh, so the Chiefs signed Jaron Reed. Shout out to you. Can you repeat? Can somebody, can two or more people confirm that the Chiefs signed a Jaron Reed? Let me see. Let me see what you got right here. Can somebody else, man. Can somebody else? Can somebody else confirm that the Chiefs signed Jaron Reed? From the 16, get in, baby. Can somebody else confirm? Because, see, I'm sitting here talking about Jaron Reed. I'm talking about shit. Let's go get him. Appreciate you, Jason. Can somebody confirm? Can somebody else confirm that the Chiefs signed Jaron Reed? Here, here's our situation. James, appreciate you. That's our problem. <laughs> That's our problem. We so busy. We so busy talking about this and that. And the teams that's trying to win, they winning. They ain't trying to go back and forth doing the political dance. They ain't shake dancing. They ain't tap dancing like the late Greg Gregory Hines around this thing. They out there performing. They out there saying, okay, baby, this dog, this a dog right there. Arr! This a dog, they going out there and getting that dog. But what we do, we sit around here, we chilling. We sit on our hands. We play the political mumbo jumbo type of groove. Why y'all had to give me this bad news, man? That's bad news. Why y'all had to give me this bad news on this beautiful day out here at the Star in Frisco? We continue to sit on our tail and we continue not to move quick enough. Man. Continue. Look. Real recognize real. Can I say this again? Real recognize real. And by the Chiefs doing that, 
although they lost the Super Bowl last year, look at the offseason moves that they did the previous year. Matter of fact, I want somebody in the comment box. Let me know if the Chiefs would have won the Super Bowl if they never made a play on their hunter badger. With the Chiefs, with the Chiefs was able to keep that running attack. With the Chiefs was able to keep that defense intact without making acquisitions. And I'm not saying that the Cowboys are not. I'm clearly not saying that. But what I'm saying is, fam, is that you got to take the calculated risk. You got to reach deep down in your pocket sometimes. And you got to go out there and make some moves to make these things happen. Because if you don't, baby, it will be the exact same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results. So, I said this before, and I'm gonna say it again, Cowboy Nation. I like, I like the aspect of bringing in some guys, but it's more so to do with quality over quantity. And just right here, you bring in quality over quantity. So, we brought in a lot of guys, Basham. Brand Urban with Carlos Watkins. When I believe in the hearts of hearts, you could have looked into this situation and said, you know what? I'm going to go out there and snatch a Malcolm Brown, a big plug that you can put inside that can gobble up and give you some production from the interior. But what we did collectively speaking, we put a little lipstick on the pig. So what I'm hoping for and what I'm what I believe that I hope that can change a lot of things. It's all on Quinn, baby. It's all on Quinn. He gonna have to coach up this front four, the front four that we got, and see if they can elevate. That's the only way we can look at it at this point. Because if not, all we done did, baby, is put lipstick on a pig. <laughs> Dang. You know Jerry Reed got so that was gonna be my whole pitch. I was gonna do some film assessment, some film breakdown, and all good stuff. God dog, those are C plus players at best. This is from Chris. You're right. You're right. I had, I had, I had somebody to hit me up and say, Law, Law, Jerry Reed, his production been dropping. Jerry Reed, he don't create pressure from the interior. So I started to say, okay, I took them for their word, right? I kind of took them for their word. But I said, man, I trust a lot of people, but I verify. So what I did was, Cowboy Nation, I went into the aspect, looking at some of those, looking at some of those sacks. The brother had six sacks from the interior. Let me know, help Law Nation out. Are we getting that type of production from the interior? Will Gallimore next year get six sacks from the interior? Will Tristan Hill get six sacks from the interior? <sighs> Will Brent Urban get six sacks from the interior? Antoine Trocker Woods, he might be somewhere around here working out. Will he get six sacks from the interior? It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, Cowboy Nation. So all we're going to have to do now is just hope that, by God, that Dan Quinn can coach up these guys and be positive about it and see what we can do heading into the 2021 season. Maybe, just maybe, you got the Lee McNeil. You got J2 Fille. You got Tommy Tiaga. You got uh, also Marvin Marvin Wilson. You got Tyler Shelvin. You got a, a Jay Tyman, who's pretty good out of this draft. You got you got uh, the Tonga kid from BYU. You got some people that you can try to say to yourself, all right, let's try to bring them up. Let's see if we can bring them up to speed and put them out into the interior. But we'll find out. Jerry McCoy, uh, 
Sue already signs it. He's gone, fam. Appreciate you, though. John, appreciate you for jumping in, fam. Thank you for joining the show. Uh, Reed had 10 sacks in 2018. Yep. From the interior. There have been many a moon since we had something like that, right? All right, Cowboy Nation. That's all the time I got for this beautiful moment. I'll give y'all a panda round. Yo, yo, the star, Frisco. If y'all never been here, come on out here. Enjoy. Enjoy the festivities. Enjoy this moment. Enjoy everything that we got out here at the star. And let's get this thing going the best way possible, one way or another. I'm your brother from another mother. No other. Don't look like Danny Glover, but I keep it cool with you guys. Let's continue to grind and shine, baby. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Let's go, Cowboy Nation. Hey, Jerry, go, baby. Since you've been gone.